Okay, so this right here is the 7492. You can see it blinking, and I have it paired just to this um, Kindle right here. But before I even get into that, why I'm even looking at this um, is I was messing around building a different Bluetooth speaker and what I'll call a Bluetooth boombox. And I picked up, I saw these, this is that little um, PAM 8403. And so it was the cheapest amplifier I could find. Um, and it needed a, you know, some type of Bluetooth board. I got a couple of different ones here that I paired it with. But ultimately, I put it together in what I'll call like a little prototype, just a cardboard box with vinyl wrap on it of a speaker um, that I tested. I'll try to put a link here to um, a video I made testing it against some other, um, you know, production Bluetooth speakers, JBL, Bose, etc. And as you'd expect, you know, this was the cheapest thing I could find, these little IEMA speakers and these little, whatever these are, I don't even know, inch and a half speakers. Um, you know, kind of all the cheapest components put in a, basically a temporary prototype box. It didn't sound as good as any of the other speakers, but it got my brain thinking in terms of, well, maybe it is a worthwhile project to you know, uh, create a small Bluetooth speaker, which I happen to have kind of a love-hate relationship with these things. You know, as a kid, I remember uh, my best friend had a, his parents had a giant Kenwood system with these huge speakers. They used to call them toilet tanks because they were so big and hung on the wall, and they had big 12-inch woofers, and we would just sit there and listen to music on end. You know, granted, the world was a different place, but the music coming out of something like that you know, the experience is totally different than what kids are getting these days listening to small Bluetooth speakers. But with that said, um, when I started thinking about what, we, you know, like what is out there, obviously, you know, buy the cheapest stuff and throw it in a cardboard box, you don't expect much, but maybe print, uh, you know, 3D print an enclosure and come up with something. So I found real quick these Tang Band um, two inch drivers, full range audio drivers. And then I also found a two inch subwoofer. Um, it's uh, also Tang Band. It has a, a dual voice coil, I think, or I can't even remember. Two drivers, something. Well, I guess I can look at the back if I could see it. But in any event, um, but then I needed an amp to power that. And so, you know, I could stick with this. I think I bought a couple of different ones I'm going to be trying out. The first one that came in the mail was this uh, 7294 um, or 7492. <laughs> and I think it's kind of unfair. I think this has a little bit more power. I think maybe I'll try to keep the wattage to like under 10 watts. And I think this thing is rated at 25. Um, but with that said, it's got... Uh, you know, it comes with these buttons. It's got an on and off button. It was really easy to pair to the Bluetooth thing. Um, <coughs> but it is only, you know, it only takes the two speakers. So then I found this. This is a 3020, I think, or something, or 2030. I don't know. I have to look it up. But this does have, you know, a dedicated low frequency channel that I can hook that up to. So that's where I think I'm going to go with this. But it's worth it. Um, you know, this is not bad here. Um, I don't know if you can hear that. I have volume over here. For a small, small board, um, you know, these Class D boards now are just incredible what you can get. But so it's got the Bluetooth built in. Um, you know, if you wanted to, you could desolder those or come up with some other thing but I think it just works just to you know for what I would use it for is just to pretty much use remote control on the thing um, I don't know it's not bad like I said probably won't make it into the uh, finished product that I'm looking for just because I think it's it's too high powered but I think whatever I come up with will probably I think this is six watts 25 watts into the main channel. So we'll try it out from there.